My name is Jonas Schepstedt and I'm from Lund University in Sweden. It's close to Copenhagen. And I will make a case for using power machines in computer science education, in particular for uh, C programming courses. Okay, uh, this is the outline. Essentially, I will explain how using an automatic grader and power assembler code can improve uh, the learning outcome for students. And <clears throat> I will also uh, mention what we will do in the future, in the near future. <clears throat> so there are two courses on C, uh, C programming language in uh, Atlund University. The first one, which is the focus today, is about writing clean code. And uh, it has also a lot of focus on the ISO C standard from C11. Okay, and the other one is uh, called algorithm implementation. It has a focus on writing efficiency. This code, uh, sorry, this course was uh, actually inspired by a course from IBM, or uh, actually at IBM, by uh, Alpern several years ago. Okay, uh, there is another uh, uh, part where we also teach uh, the C11 atomic types and um, multi-threading in uh, the course uh, multi-core programming. So, uh, previously, <coughs> uh, the uh, programming assignments, they were graded manually by uh, teaching assistants during weekends. So, this resulted in a latency of 72 hours from hand-in to reject with occasional pause. Okay, these uh, assignments, they were, or actually are, uh, required for uh, writing the exam. So this become, makes it uh, stressful for several students who might not finish them in time. And another issue is that teaching assistants, they cost money. So <clears throat> a different approach is to uh, have an automatic grading. So I um, have written an, um, a program to do uh, the grading automatically, and then we can reduce the latency from um, 72 hours to five minutes approximately. But now there is no uh, human being uh, looking at the source code, so we need a new uh, method to uh, motivate the students to do their best. Okay, <clears throat> so this um, method is to have a competition uh, and uh, there is, um, the competition is about writing memory efficient C code. Okay, so there is a score for each assignment. First it must pass all the tests. And then it's the size of the uh, instructions and of static data. Not the heap and not the stack, but static data, okay? And uh, there are three assignments, one per week, an RPN calculator, finding longest word in uh, input, and polynomial multiplication with an increasing uh, level of difficulties. Okay? So uh, this is what uh, the winner got, and it motivated them quite a lot. Okay, so uh, this uh, automatic grader, it's called Forsete, and Forsete is a Viking Age judge who is always fair. And this program is also very fair. Uh, actually, you, so what it does, it runs as a route, uh, fetches mails, gives the score, pass fail, and uh, the number, and then uh, returns the power machine code for uh, their assignment. Actually, you can try it yourself by sending email to cbook at forsitter.net, and well, you can find more um, details at the web page. Uh, that you can see below. Okay? So, <clears throat> uh, what this program first does is to check the source code if it uh, is valid according to the Linux kernel code style. And then it generates a random input and runs a reference implementation uh, to, to, and then checks uh, their, I mean, to, to generate input for to checking their code. So then it forks and compiles their code, forks again, limits uh, stack size, and uh, changes uh, uh, Unix uh, user ID. S is, uh, I mean, we are executing 
completely untrusted code. So we must uh, uh, change the Unix uh, user ID. And we do some other things as well to, to um, have t such as timeouts and so forth. So <coughs> how, <coughs> sorry. how can we then encourage simplicity and elegance? Actually, it turns out that elegant code, it is usually memory efficient as well. Okay, and uh, this um, scores and the high score lists, they give, them, they give uh, students very important feedback. For instance, in the longest word uh, assignment, the scores ranged from uh, 189 bytes to uh, almost 800. And uh, uh, the, uh, the students, of course, have different uh, competence, and, but they, they uh, realize that there is room for making the code simpler. Okay, so this is very um, important understanding for the students. And without this high score and automatic grading, they, they don't see that. They just get marks on the, on the code. Okay, so <clears throat> where does the power fit into this? Well, uh, to, to win uh, the competition, it's uh, required, I mean, to, to score well to read the assembler code so that they can reduce the size of their program. And that uh, excludes memory, uh, several uh, instruction set architectures I won't mention in, in particular. But uh, the advantage of power is that uh, the code becomes uh, predict predictable and easy to read. Okay, another thing is that the, there are available mature optimizing compilers for code size. We use uh, GCC with, uh, well, uh, that option, as you can see. Okay, and uh, a remark from the winner, uh, Anton Clarion is, is his name, uh, is that the GCC, G, G, sorry, the GCC compiler for power does not generate any instruction that you don't understand what it does or why it is there. Okay, so this makes it uh, uh, easy to reason about uh, the source code that you write and the object code that you get. Okay. Other ad advantages with power uh, include that there is a very um, detailed online documentation, uh, not only on the instruction set, of course, but also on um, uh, um, several d different pipeline implementations. Okay. And there are, of course, very good development platforms either if you have a Power 8 server or, as in Lund, uh, several um, multiprocessors based on, the, on uh, older power machines. Okay, so we use the Power also for uh, other courses, multi-core programming and algorithm implementation. And then uh, development platforms, good as such, are essential. Okay, and for the multi-core programming, it's uh, important to get exposed to the advanced um, relaxed memory model which uh, power has. Okay, and um, also very important that uh, you get by using the power architecture in the CS education is that there are available uh, very detailed pipeline simulators and uh, below you can see where you can fetch them. It's, they are part of the uh, powerful Linux SDK. Uh, for instance, there is a pipeline viewer it's called Scroll PV, which um, comes from IBM Austin, and it has been invaluable to uh, make, um, for instance, engineering math students understand the, p the performance of superscalar processors. Okay. Now that uh, the students uh, are exposed to the power architecture, they get a head start to write uh, interesting master thesis. And two recent example is uh, um, instruction scheduling using constraint programming uh, in the LLVM compiler. The, this is actually the first work ever that made the performance measurements on uh, a real machine. Uh, in other uh, work, for instance, done together with IBM research, uh, it, the performance, the estimated performance speedups, uh, come from 
the constraint model. So uh, the quality of these speed ups is dependent on how detailed the model is. But this is on the real machine. Okay, another one is uh, performance evaluation of the C keyword restrict, <coughs> which is to expose, uh, expose information to the compiler that uh, certain pointers cannot be aliased. Okay, and uh, yeah, you, you can um, uh, understand that the, to do these things, it was of course uh, mandatory to have a detailed pipeline model, uh, both of the machine that they measured on and to see in detail what, what actually happened. So, uh, okay, so that was very important for, for um, the, these courses, okay? So, uh, conclusion and the near future. Uh, also for universities, uh, using power machines is uh, a very good idea. Okay, and uh, in the near future, actually in September, we will use uh, power also for a course on optimizing compilers. Okay, and we will uh, use uh, this book, which will come in uh, August, uh, which uh, has or will have um, performance measurements on several different uh, compilers for power. Uh, Clang, GCC, possibly XLC, if uh, I am allowed to use it for this, I, I am in contact with the uh, staff there, and also my own C compiler which was uh, validated for C99 uh, 13 years ago, okay? Uh, you can, if you wish, you can download uh, this uh, master thesis from uh, my um, personal webpage that you can see there, okay? Uh, thank you very much for listening, and I'm happy to answer any question. Okay, thank you.